Hello everyone, my name is Lawthorn, and today I'm going to show you how to install and use MultiMC for both Forge and Fabric mods and basically anything else you want to do with it. This is a course for Minecraft, it is one of the Minecraft mod lowers, you can put it together, make things. It's brilliant, it's a good tool, it's... yeah. Anyways, to get started, search for MultiMC in any search engine that you may have, although Google's probably preferable. Let's get into how to use it. So, you could click on any of these guys here or you can continue watching this, and uh, just click on the multi-MC, and then to download, just go to download and install, download to whatever your computer requires it be, download, so Windows, download the 30 slash 64 bit, Mac, eh, if you use Mac for Minecraft, then go ahead and Linux, a bunch of different downloads for all different versions of Linux. Cool, cool. All right, once you got it downloaded, put it on your computer, unzip it, unstract it, whatever you do, and I like putting mine into this little tree folder here. And then you click on the MMC Stable Win Computer 32. Open that up. Then we'll get the Multi MC. Boom. Open that up. Then you get this little thing here with the Infinity and the Block Dirt. You open that up. Once you got that, you um, got this whole page here. Then you'll have no instances though. So you go create new instance. What kind of instance do you want? 1.7.1, 1.17, 1.16.5. Let's go with 1.16.5. Let's name it something fun, like Fish Stew. There we go, Fish Stew named. We're going to create it as a vanilla. We could import mods in, but we're just going to create it as a vanilla and go ahead with that. Okay, there we go. It's Fish Stew Vanilla. Now we go and say Edit Instance. We open up the Instant Editor. And we go over to this page here, the versions. Now, do we want Forge or Fabric? If we want it to be Forge, we go install Forge. And we can choose which version of Forge we want to install. Then I'll install it. If we want Fabric, we can click on Install Fabric. Choose what version of Fabric we want installed. And hit OK. Then I'll activate and install Fabric. And there we go. We got Fabric Loader installed and loaded in. Then if we want to add mods, we could click on Install Mods. And go Add. And Add Mod from Folders. Or we could do the much easier way, in my opinion, which is we go back to Fish Stew and we go into Minecraft folders. You can just open up from there. Then you click on Mods. You got this big old empty page here. Whoop de doo. Then we go over to good old Curse Forge here and we say we want for Minecraft Fabric Edition, we want mods for that because that's what we got installed. Then you select the mods you want. I recommend right clicking them, go open, open up in the link, a new tab. Then you can go to its file folder and get it downloaded from there, like so. And then you just get the version that you need, which is a fabric build. Just click the install on 1.16.5 version of the mod. You keep all these installs. Then you can either go and find those in your download and add them with the add mods, or you can go to Minecraft folder in your instance of the thing you've made. Click on mods, open that up. And you can just drag these into there from here or again from the download folder and say it should just work just fine here. And then you can launch it. And if you've installed everything correctly, it should work and give you them sweet, sweet mods. And if not, then you try to figure it out for about half an hour and get it to work. And boom, there we go. We got Tech Reborn installed and all the other things we can want. So we got Tutor Light Boots. And we got tech, the quark stuff or charm stuff, I guess. Squid in a bucket. Coral squid. Bat in a bucket. Raid horn. Boom. And that's how you use multi MC. You get fabric mods. You can get forge mods. You can do a whole lot of stuff with it. It's useful. And that's how you usefully use it. Good night.